For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 11 of the Arsenal career mode here on FIFA 17. We start with a massive game against Spurs at home. Not only have we got one big game today, we've actually got three big games today. We follow that up after an international break with a game away at Old Trafford. And then the third and final game of the episode will be against Juventus in the group stage of the Champions League. Now we do already know that we have progressed through to the knockout stages of the Champions League, which means I can prioritise the Premier League with this midweek game. So I can play, obviously, first team against Tottenham, first team against United after the international break, providing there are no injuries, and I can play a rotated side against Juventus so that I can then play a full-strength side against Bournemouth in the uh, in the league at the weekend. And then I'm not too fussed about the, about the Football League Cup, to be fair. So we can play a rotated side against Swansea. If we get through, we get through. If we don't, we don't. I'm not really that arsed. So uh, things, hopefully... Will be alright for us today. We are in good form. We are top of the Premier League as things stand. Our last Premier League game was a 3-0 win over Brighton. who are currently rock bottom of the table, unfortunately, for them. But we have a three-point lead over Palace, a five-point lead over Watford, and a six-point lead over Chelsea. Man United, though, could close that gap to just four points if they win their game in hand. I'm not too sure who that's against, however. But we'll find out in due course as uh, things work their way out. We obviously have to play them in today's episode. So I'll start with this home game against Spurs. If you want to watch these live, of course, this is a live stream taken and cut down into edited highlights. If you want to watch these live over on Twitch, then follow the link in the description. It will take you to my Twitch channel where you can follow me. Follow me on Twitter as well. There's a link to that in the description down below as well so you can know when I'm going to stream these because I don't have a set stream schedule at present. So uh, I tweet out when I'm going to be streaming, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. But without any further ado, let's jump into this first home game against Spurs. We played them in the cup recently and it went to extra time, so I'm hoping to get a win inside 90 minutes this time around. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel too for more. There'll be FIFA 18 stuff, of course, within the next few weeks. And hopefully, you guys will still be with me when that comes around and we can have a very good year for FIFA 18 as well. But now, Spurs at home. Well, Harry Kane's playing. So is Human Son and Christian Eriksen and Musa Sissoko as well as Victor Wanyama. Musa Sissoko is a strange addition. Is he playing him on the right instead of Eric Lamella? Find well, out in a moment. Here we go. Tottenham side is no. He's playing it. He's playing on the left. Moose Human Son on the right. Musa Sissoko on the left. He's been in tremendous form. All right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Get there, please. Well done, Messer. Casemiro will look for Lacazette. Poor pass, but Lacazette might still come away with the ball. No. Dalielli fires that. Whoa! Oh, my God. Um, he's hit that first time on his left foot with a man stood on his tippy toes. And somehow, somehow, he's finessed that top corner. That's one of the best, if not the best, first time hit I've had scored against me ever on FIFA. Drill, it wasn't, it didn't just roll into him, that was drilled into him at pace on his weak foot, first time outside the box with a defender there stood with him and he's whipped it around the keeper and into the far top corner. Harry Kane, that is in the top three of goals ever scored against me in career mode ever. Ridiculous. Tottenham 1, Arsenal 0. I told you Casemiro pick up a yellow card for that as well. Whoa. When Yama tried to take a touch on that when it wasn't meant for him. And that could cause Tottenham some problems here. I'm going to try and drop the shoulder with Casemiro and get it around the corner there. And we could play Chaka in. I'm going to take this early on his left foot. Oh, off the bar. Granite Chaka so close to a remarkable equaliser. Good cross, but unfortunately Lacazette didn't read it. But he could steal off the defender. I tried to commit to the shot, but he wouldn't lock onto the ball. Great effort from Granite Chaka there. So very unlucky not to have given us an equaliser on the half hour. But we are still, for now, 1-0 down. Uh, Christian, do you mind? No! It's fine, it's wide, I didn't panic. Neither did you. It's alright, good, calm, stay calm. In there to Ertzel. 
Around the corner. Oh, come on, lads. You're better than this. You're 89 rated, Messi. You should be able to play a pass like that. Thank you, Koscielny. At least you're playing to your full potential. Slot through Alexandre Lacazette. He's onside here. Toby Alderweireld with me. Step over, turn his side. Lacazette. Oh, Lloris with a ridiculous save. Throws out an arm and just palms it away as I try and finesse it home in the bottom corner. Other than their effort with Ericsson a moment ago and the goal from Harry Kane, it has been all one-way action going the other way. But at the minute, I can't seem to get a goal. One side to the other. Oh, that's a nice reverse ball into Christian Eriksen as well. Excuse me, Victor, when did you become Lionel Messi? Harry Kane on his left foot again. Mustafi threw everything at it and Czech makes the save as it drops very kindly. Back down to... Kane again. That's a good cross as well, and Kane's underneath that. Casemiro heads it away. Nice little back heel. Urzel. It's Lacazette. I've got Lamar with me. There's Alexis. And we'll get it back to Lacazette. Lacazette! Oh! Over the bar. In stoppage time at the end of the first half. Give me. Thank you, Mustafi. I tell you what, Mustafi is so good. I say it every single time I play this career mode. Mustafi Alexis is Sanchez. superb. We get this back to Alexis. They look to bend it home. Oh, was on target. Headed towards the bottom corner, but Lloris saves. I need to be careful with so many players on a booking already. Manyama across there into Deli Alley. Harry Kane goes for the 1-2. Thankfully, it didn't come off. But come on, Granite. Use your pace. Actually, we'll use a Lacazette's pace. Take that in his stride. He has done. Alderweireld is no slouch. And Lacazette will get away from him here, though. And across. And Granite Chaka. How? How have you not scored that, Granite? I'm not going to get a better chance all game. I am not going to get a better chance all game to score a goal. And Granite Tacker has kicked that straight at Hugo Lloris. I cannot believe that. Yes, Casemiro. Yes, Casemiro. Come on, then. Well, Ozil's away here. Mesa Ozil in behind, although I need to get it on his left. Ozil! Oh. Just not enough space. Too many Tottenham defenders back there. 22 minutes to go. I'm still 1-0 down here. Things are not going well. Well, to be fair, things have gone well. I just can't score. Win this header, please. Thank you, Koscielny. Oh, why, is, why have you back healed that? There's no need. 1-0 down. Five minutes to go, and he's deciding to bust out the back heels. Just kick the ball to your fucking teammate, will you? How has Eriksen broken through that tackle? And Nkudu will make it 2-0. Will. The game wanted me to lose this. The game wanted me to lose this. We just got a donation. Thank you very much. How did Christian Eriksen break through that challenge? How? I've tackled him and he's just run straight through it and run off with the ball. It's ridiculous. Never, ever been. Never, ever been. Oh, and he didn't even put any power on the finish either. That... I'm infuriated. That's ridiculous. We should never in a bajillion years be 2-0 down here in this game at home against Tottenham. Not a chance. I, I should be 3 or 4-2 up. 3 or 4-1 up, because that should never have gone in the first place. That could sit around the corner. Urza will get it back to him, and he'll have a deflected shot that goes straight to Lloris. It's just, I've not had the rub of the green here. I've really not had the rub, the rub of the green at all. Mess it. Oh, kick it, you... Prick. That's a foul, ref. How is that not a foul? You blow the final whistle. Of course you do. Proof. The game did not want me to win there. I'm certain that I got screwed out of a result in that game. Absolutely certain I got screwed out of a result. Uh, Lukaku starts. Lukaku starts. The only name different to... Uh, or the only new signing that's in there. Uh, Andy, Ka Andy Carroll's on the bench, though. Of course he is. Paul Pogba on the bench as well, which is interesting. Starting Carrick and Fellaini ahead of Paul Pogba. But Romelu Lukaku will start for Manchester United. Oh, piss off Fellaini. I presume that the majority of you saw the picture of Fellaini that was doing the rounds on Twitter. In fact, he tweeted it out himself as well. Lukaku draws a save out of Petacek. Corner to come in from Juan Mata. Oh, that's a good delivery as well. Who headed that? Bullshit. It's gone behind. Andy Carroll for Ballon d'Or. Well, Mata again. Lukaku's at the near post too. Oh, looped this time. That'll be checks. Well done. He's caught that well. I'll bowl this out to Sanchez. And well, I wanted to do that, but that really didn't work either attempt, did it? 
Valencia out, Marcel's in. Crystal Palace in third. Yeah, we know that. It's more about Manchester United in fourth that I'm worried about right now. Jack Wilshere tackles the man there, though. We'll try and work it away. Run, Tomer. Thank you. Actually making some movement. You're up against Daly Blind as well, who shouldn't have you for pace. We squeeze that through that gap. And Wilshere looks for Sanchez, who will turn his side on his right and beautifully tuck it home. We're 1-0 up at Old Trafford early on in this one. That's much better. Great finish from Alexis Sanchez. We'll see it out to him. Had to turn back on his right, but to finesse it home like that from close range with defenders and the goalkeeper right in front of him, we will take it. It's just the start I needed in this one. No, no. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Good night. I'm going home. <laughs> I mean, I mean, on his right foot as well. His first goal in the Premier League this season. So away we go at one all. Not bad for your first ever goal at your new club in the Premier League, is it? Got so excited when I was 1-0 up and then they go from kickoff and do that. Unreal. Jack Wilshire. Oh shit. Here's Alexis. There's the run. It's Asensio. And help it on its way. Jack Wilshire. Well, this is going to be quite a good game, isn't it? 2-1 Arsenal after just 15 minutes. Sanchez to Asensio, to Lacazette, quickly around the corner, Wilshere tucks it home. Holy balls, what a game of football this is turning out to be. Space for Ashley Young. Gets it to Mata, to Lukaku, in before he puts it tops from 30 yards. I was joking, by the way. Oh, and it's dropped to Mata. Asensio to Casemiro. Oh, wait, it's better. oh, that first touch. Lamar. I thought it was going to go down the line, didn't you? I didn't. I took the shot on. Alexandra Lacazette makes it 3-1. Why couldn't this have happened against Tottenham? I'm pleased that it's happening against Manchester United, but why couldn't this have happened against Tottenham as well? Great finish from Lacazette across the goal into that bottom corner to give us the 3-1 lead. Deadly. But I'd have taken... I'd have taken a 2-1 win here and a couple of these goals happening in the game against Tottenham would have been nice, but never mind. At least we're still top and we'll stay top as well if we win this. I say if, because there's still a long way to go. Excuse me, Juan. My ball. Great ball by Asensio out to Lamar. Try to step over, turn his side. That's Daily Blind sent. And Asensio to Alexis. Oh, De Gea, what a save. Falling down, throws an arm up. That's great goalkeeping. Essentially with the corner. I'm looking for Casemiro. He's going to drop to Michael Carrick, actually. Monreal with a header. Drops to Jack Wilshere. Okay, Alexis was offside. Mata with the header back to Mkhitaryan. That's a good cross. Mustafi away. Corner. Stoppage time at the end of the half. Ashley Young with the whip. Lukaku's up. Decent header, but straight at Petr Cech, thankfully. That should see us to half time with our lead intact. Oh, Lacazette's still not up. Smalling. Is that a foul? Nothing given. Well, I'll just give it to Lacazette and he can run through and not score because David De Gea makes a great save. Bollocks. 4 1 would really have killed the game off. Right, let's try and get this to Casemiro, shall we? Never mind. There's Lauren Koscielny. That was actually Young, I think, that headed that. Cross to come in. Asensio tries again. And Mustafi's underneath it. It was actually Young again. Oh, cleared away. I should have a player underneath this. So win this header, please, Hector. You didn't, but you are going to get to the loose ball, so that's... I think. Yep, there we go. Casemiro. I'm going to go through the gap there to Asensio. Give that to Lacazette. Drop the shoulder. Oh, and he's past Smalling. Lacazette, finish! I tell you what, Alexandre Lacazette with the cross-shot goals is OP as... expletive. 
That shot from him across goal into the far bottom corner is so, so good, so effective. Again, De Gea leaping away for it, but nowhere near it that time. Blaney off and Paul Pogba on. Bit late, Jose, bit late. You're already 4-1 down, but appreciate the gesture. Yeah, FIFA 18 is going to be mad. I'm so ready for it. Pogba out to Valencia, ball over the top, win the header, please. He didn't. Kataria into Mata, wait for the ball through to Lukaku, it's not calm. Oh, great footwork from Mata. What a tackle! Oh my lord! Hector Bayerine! Where did that come from? That was one of the best last stitch tackles I think I've ever seen. That was one of the worst first, first touches we've seen all game. Asensio could play through Jack Wilshere, and I'm going to hit this early because Smalling's coming. Oh! And I thought for a moment that was going to nestle in the bottom corner. Well, thank you for the donation. Koscielny will get that away. I'll read it just after full time. Valencia with an early cross. Koscielny with a head away. Drops to Pogba. Lays that down into Mata. The change of direction for one Mata there was just undefendable. Oh, it's a lovely ball through. That's a, it's a very, very, very good goal from Manchester United to make it 4-2. Perhaps going slightly overboard with the celebrations, to be completely honest. It's 4-2, boys. You're losing by two goals and we're in stoppage time. But fair enough, a goal like that is worth celebrating, I suppose. But it's not going to get you anything out of it. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 4, and the final whistle is not too long in coming either. Alexis into Wilshire, we'll get it back to Alexis. I'd love to make it five and get my three-goal lead back again if I can, just before the end. Lacazette with a turn. He is on a hat-trick, Alexandre Lacazette. will try the across-shot goal again, but... I've overrun it slightly and De Gea will get there. And then ref, any moment now will be wonderful if you don't mind. Thank you very much for obliging. Arsenal 4, Manchester United 2. Just the little ego boost, self-confidence boost that I needed after that rather frustrating defeat against Tottenham. Let's go and play the kids against Juve and see if they can impress as well. Now Juve actually need a result here against me, don't they? Because they're level on points with the team that are in third that's a foul the level on points with the team that are in third wow are we really going to have another referee that's going to dish out yellow cards left right and center we're two minutes in ref you don't need to do that i think the team that are in third you are on four points the team that are in third are on four points the team that are bottom are on three so that second automatic promotions automatic promotion that second um qualification slot is very much up for grabs but obviously we are top of the group and will remain to be so between now and the end of the group stage which is why I can afford to play such a heavily rotated side here against Juve but they're playing their strongest possible team because they need their best possible result but Kieran Gibbs gets that away it's been heavily Juventus orientated in these only few moments but Casper is making me a run and I'll look to slot him in I can't get past Barzali I've got a free kick there though I'll take that Lich trying to whacked out Granite Chaka Will be yellow card. That time actually deserved yellow card rather than the one that Quadrado got earlier on. Now, can Mesut put this tops? We'll find out. Or maybe... Oh, no. It took a big deflection off the wall. I got all excited there for a, a brief moment. Corner to come in from Ozil himself. Decent delivery. Up goes Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and away goes the ball. Sadly, never mind. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that Liverpool had... Or supposedly... Liverpool had supposedly rejected a bid of €104 million Euros for uh, Coutinho. But I don't know how much truth there is to that. So I'm pretty sure if they did offer 100 million, 104 million euro, Liverpool would accept. It won't be turns inside. Cross there to Ozil. Oh, it's a lovely turn. Mesut Ozil on his left. Good save by Gianluigi Buffon. I have had a haircut, Lindley, yes. Please don't spam caps, lads. Ozil with the corner. Oh, Manolas. He might want to leave, but he's still very much dedicated to the first team. What a header. That's textbook as well. Down into the ground. Buffon, no chance. Really, really good header from Costas Manolas. So much power on it. It was past Buffon and Lichsteiner on the line before they knew what happened. 1-0 Arsenal. Marquise, don't you dare. Oh, was going in. Faber needed to make the save. What a hit. What an unbelievable strike from Claudio Marquisio. So much power behind that. It was dipping as well. Moving all over the place. Quadrado can't, can get past Alex Iwobi. That's a foul. All right, free kick in a really good position for him here. Let me guess. Yellow card. We've had very card-happy refs tonight. Very card-happy refs. Paolo Dybala is the man stood over it. Straight to Weber. That was pretty simple. 
Well up. Come on, Casper, you're in. Play it over the top. Please get there. He's done well. He's held off the defenders. Casper Dolberg. Good save by Buffon. Palming it well away. No danger there. We've got a corner. Can we go 2-0 up before the break? Good delivery. Underneath it is Oxlade-Chamberlain. Comfortable for Buffon that time around. Is he just... I've done a drilled pass with Kieran Gibbs there and he's gone down her. Right. Okay. Well, let's throw Coquelin on and put Sergio Roberto at right back. He's passed the ball there and done something to his knee. Literally, all he did was pass the ball like that. And then he's gone down, holding on to his knee. That looks rather painful for Kieran Gibbs there. We'll have to wait and see how long he's going to be out for. Presumably, if he's just gone down randomly like that, it is going to be something serious like uh, ligament damage. We'll find out after the game. But for now, at half-time, we're 1-0 up. Around around the corner to Tolberg. It's Ozil to Wobi. Back into Ozil. Hit that first time. Good save by Buffon. Ozil with the corner. Good delivery. Underneath that is Kalashnats, but straight at Buffon. All of our chances seem to be coming from corners at the minute, don't they? Ozil. Coquelin. Dink that. Alex oxlade Chamberlain. Oh, could have been in behind, but Alexandro leaps well. Lucas Perez with the turn. On the left foot. Oh, and had Buffon scrambling. Good fingertip saving. See how pleased with himself he is for making that. Ozil with a corner. Keeper can come for this. He hasn't. Storaro will head that away up for another corner. So many corners in this game. I don't normally tend to have that many. Manolas is up again. Buffon with a fingertip save. Thank you for the donation. I'll read that in a moment. Ozil with another corner. Ramsey up. Free-ish header, but no. Cleared away. And Higuain will complete that clearance. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Well done, Martin Tyler. Well observed. Oxley chamberlain around the corner there to Ozil. Out wide to Kalashinats. Winds up for the cross. And... Oh, jeeps. Alexandra nearly heads that into his own goal. This must be like my eighth or ninth corner at this stage. Ozil with the whip. Rambo, free header. Oh, and Buffon leaps away. How many corners have I had? I don't think I've had this many corners in the game for ages. Corners, eight. That was my eighth corner of the game. It's remarkable. And the only goal so far has come from a corner, as have the majority of my chances. Yes, my sir. Uh, thank you for the bit. Are we getting a FIFA 18 wish, 18 wish list at some stage? Uh, potentially. I have wanted to do one for ages, but I just haven't found the time. I've just kicked that off the pitch. I just haven't found the time. And now that the beat is out, I can't, I can't, I can't really put a video out being like, I wish this was on the thing, because if I have something on my wish list that uh, they have actually implemented that would have been on my wish list regardless, but obviously having played the beta, I can't prove that I haven't just taken it from the beta and leaked information. Urza with a whip. Oh, oh, it's worked. In the last episode, we hit the post and then the other post twice and it stayed out. This time, it's finally gone in. Buffon might well throw his hands up in dismay, but it's a very, very good finesse effort from Merzel. He's dug it out of his feet there. Oh, he got a fingertip to it. That's why he's so annoyed. What's this? Oh, hang on. What was that shot? Did you see? Did you see that? He shot through his own leg. What was, what was that? He shot through his own leg. Ready? How? How? How would you do? How have you done that? What? What the hell? Is that? Oh, I'm just gonna have a shot. I'm just gonna have a shot. And uh, oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna shoot through my own leg. So does that? Does that count as a Rabona? Does that count as a Rabona goal? Because <laughs> he shot with his leg around the back of his. I mean. I don't, I don't really, I don't really get that. And then his leg's gone through his other leg. Did Buffon get fingertips to it? He did, he did. You can see definite change in uh, direction of the ball. As Buffon comes across, you see the spin on the ball change. He's spinning one way and then it spins a little bit closer towards the post. That was odd. 
I think is the word we'll use from Meza Ertzil, but we have somehow managed to score a second goal there, so I'll take it. So much space. What? Where's my defence gone? Storaro, clean through. Oh, he's decided to pull it back to Barzali. That was the wrong decision, wasn't it, my man? Lichsteiner, giving that straight to Aaron Ramsey. That too, wrong decision. In there to Alex Awobi. We'll go inside. Can I get a third, maybe, before the end of the game? Don't know as I deserve a third, but Lucas Perez is turning Chiellini inside out there, but Lichsteiner comes across on the cover and helps his captain out. And offside there is Gonzalo Higuain. Juve just haven't been good enough here. This has been a weak side for me. I expected better from them. And with the fact that Monaco were 1-0 up at half-time in the other game, they might find themselves going out of the Champions League. That is an extremely tidy goal as well. Meza Ertzil finishes that beautifully into the bottom corner. I said earlier on, when we were heading into the, the game against Man United, I won't play Ertzil. He's not been that good so far. Well, stepped up to the plate in this one, hasn't he? Picking up two goals, two very good goals as well. And it's 3-0 here against Juve. And what does the Champions League group look like after that game 12 shots 11 on target 7,000 corners uh, Mucha Gladbach equalized so the, the second spot is still wide open it's still wide open I'll show you the group table before we end and uh, the league table as well because we'll have a league game against Watford next um, Watford against Bournemouth next but we are two points clear at the top away from Watford and Crystal Palace Man United there on 23 so we're six points clear of them and nine points now clear of Chelsea who've lost another game uh, Bournemouth are currently 11th, so we should be able to do well enough in that game, I would have thought. But let's show you the Champions League group, because because I'm pretty sure that Juve are on 4, Mucha Gladbach are on 4, and Watford and Monaco are on 5. Have a quick look, shall we? Uh, yeah, Monaco 5, Mucha Gladbach 4, Juventus 4. So, Mucha Gladbach and Juventus both play each other in the next game. So whoever wins that game will finish at least third and remain in Europe for the, for the foreseeable future and go through, if they finish third, to the Europa League knockout stages. Monaco play me, and if they can get a win, then they'll go through as uh, second place to the round of 16 of the Champions League. If they lose and Mucha Gladbach win, then they'll go through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And if Juventus win and Monaco lose, or even draw, then... They'll go through. So Mon Monaco win means that they are through against me. A Monaco draw or defeat means that Mucha Gladbach or Juventus have the opportunity to leapfrog them and go up into that second spot. So it's wide open there. And the Premier League looks pretty damn tight at this stage as well. Yeah, torn quadricep muscle for Kieran Gibbs. That's what it was. He tore his quad. That sounds rather bloody painful when you're kicking a football to tear your quadricep. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy that sounds like one of the most painful muscles to tear your quad is like your upper thigh yeah no thanks but that is going to bring today's episode to a close thank you very much for watching everybody on youtube if you want to watch these full streams live like i say follow the link in the description to my twitch where you can do so follow me on twitter as well to make sure that uh, you know when i'm going to stream drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you next time